Hi Pisces, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Pisces is your intuitive reading for the time between the 14th and the 20th of March. I've already shuffled and meditated. I'll do a little bit more of that on camera and then we'll get started. You've got two bases of the reading, but I suppose that should be your base of the reading. We'll give you the good one. We've got the full. So it's the beginning, okay? The beginning, the beginning, the before the beginning. This is what this is. This is before the, the before the beginning. The mixture for those people that do their reading of the Gnostics. Anyway, okay, so the card at the base of the reading is all about your... Um, the overall experience or energy this week or the perspective that you need to see this time period through and that is the energy of the fall that is the energy of starting a new starting a new cycle starting a new way in life going out there in the world carrying only carrying only with you the things that you need from the journey so far you know you've been somewhere you've 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 learned you've lived a life yeah Pisces but you know now you don't need it to bring everything with you that you've learned. You don't need all the baggage. You just need the bits. The, the, you just need the bits of wisdom that are actually going to serve you in this next chapter of your life. Because it's actually time for you to start a new chapter. You know, it's actually time. Whoa, clarity is coming through for you. I think you've been a bit clouded. I think it's been a bit of a. Tr it's been a bit heavy, hasn't it? And I know Pisces season. If you you follow if you follow me, Pisces on um, Instagram and on Facebook. I did a post about Pisces, about Pisces season, about the moon energy. And wow, I have spent the last 10, 15 days with that energy. And I kid you not, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of respect for Pisces now. Because I think that actually that sign, if you didn't have, if you're a Pisces and you have no earth in your chart, then I, 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 I don't know how you live. <laughs> I mean, I found it extremely unsettling energy. So I've got so much respect for Pisces and renewed respect for you, Pisces, uh, after Pisces season. It's not, it wasn't easy. But the, the fog is lifting. The fog is lifting, okay? Um, and it's uh, the 20th is when the sun enters Aries, okay? So that's when you get to sort of breathe again. And maybe it'll be the 20th where you get this new energy of, of wanting to start something new. First of all, we've got the Knight of Wands. This is the card that I like to call now the New Parents card. You know, this is all the will, the energy, the, 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 the want, the motivation, the love, the passion to... to 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 do something to be a parent to to look after this child to to nurture this child or to do whatever you're doing but you have no bloody clue what you're doing that's the energy <laughs> you've got all the best intentions and you've got all the energy and you've got all the passion and all the love and 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 the commitment to it but you've no bloody clue what you're doing and you've no idea what you're doing you don't know what the outcome's going to be but you're still going to give it everything. That's the energy of the Knight of Wands in a nutshell. It's like it's how I like to explain it now. After I experienced it a few weeks ago. Woo! Honestly, it took me by surprise. It's strong energy, um, Knight of Wands. Strong energy. But it is. It's that enthusiasm. And this is how you're feeling. I'm very animated right now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like this. I'm like that. But that's how you're going to be feeling. I want to do this. I want to go. I just want to try it. I'm, I'm going to. I don't know what the outcome's going to be. And it doesn't matter what the outcome's going to be because everything you've got, you need. That's all you need to start this new direction, to go in this new, to go into this new direction. Let's have a look. This might tell us what this new direction is. Woo! Something we can celebrate with the three of pent, with the three of cups. Something we can celebrate. The celebration card with the three of cups. You know, it's been foggy. It's been hard. It's been, it's been like you've been hibernating. You've like you've been under. You know, like hedgehogs. Oh, I love hedgehogs. You know, hedgehogs are brilliant. I just think they're so cute. Little hedgehogs. 
and you'll have to Google it if you don't know what a hedgehog is in, in other parts of the world, but the little... I don't even know what they are. Not, not, not anyway, whatever. <laughs> what am I going on about right now? This is what happens when you don't eat because you, you can't... I can't eat and read tarot at the same time. Anyway, I digress, darling. So, something to celebrate. Something that you want to celebrate is the Three of Cups. Why are we going to talk about hedgehogs? Why are we going to talk about hedgehogs? It's like that's what it's like. You've been hibernating. It's like you've been underground almost, like cancer. You know, it's like you've been underground. It's like you've been ha like you've been curled up in a ball and you've been trying to gain strength or something. And it's like, poof, it's like now it's like right, you're ready to to go to get out there. You want to go out. You want to party. You want to do stuff. You want to see the world. You want to you want to do something. And it's and it, and it's like it's it is almost like a celebration just because it's been such such oh it's been a long time since you felt like you could even be bothered to like you've even felt passion for a long time like it's like you've not felt it for so long you've not felt excited about about your life or excited about anything and you didn't really understand why that process that was going on Pisces was just it's all spiritual and it's and it's all about unlocking our DNA and it's all about our past life karmas and our soul contracts and and it's about 2019 and the astrology of 20 so stuff that just goes way over in most people's heads and, and stuff that you don't even need to really fully engage with um in a conscious way just know and actually you do know and understand that it's been that there has been things happening beneath the surface for you. There has been stuff going on. There have been changes that have been going on. Even if you're con you can't consciously put your finger on right now what those changes have been for you as an individual, those there have been shifts in energy. There have been shifts in your perception, probably some of you, in your sensitivity, probably some of you. Um, and I, anyway, it's time now for this week. It's time for, 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 for new, for more, for a new energy. New energy. This is what this represents as well. New energy coming in. You know, it's all new energy, Pisces. And I think for you, it's been, as I said, it's been hard. You know, it's been, it's been heavy. It's been, you've been, it's been uncertain. You, you felt up and down. You felt, excuse me. You felt like this a little bit. A little bit unsteady and actually what's going on with you Pisces is, is beneath the surface it's actually it's far more um complex really than I can do in a 10 minute video but it is all about the if you read the post let me let me try again if you I, I did a post as I said on my Instagram about the moon card so the moon cards there and I describe the moon card and what we can expect and i say in that in that post i said in that post that during pisces season the the, the 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 door open and that door is unique and different and special for every single one of us every single individual person that door is unique and individual and special but that door takes us to a truth within ourselves to a to a to a long-held and maybe long suppressed truth within ourselves. And the reason I say long held and long suppressed is just because of the the rest of the astrology this year, the eclipses, the 2019, the numerology, etc. So that's why I know it's long held. The, this is there's there's huge changes coming in for the for the whole universe and the whole planet and all that this year. But on a personal level, on a on an interpersonal level just for you you will f might maybe feel like your head is over here and your legs are over here like your heads are in the cloud and your legs are, are walking down on the ground and it's it's hard to to to, to gain any sort of stability and it's hard for you to shout down hey you're not listening to what i'm saying like you're not getting me you're not understanding me i'm trying there's been a complete disconnect for you between you and others um you know, you've just felt very separate from people. And that is changing. The The separation was necessary for, for, for Pisces. It was necessary for you, for, for, for your spiritual um, growth, for your karmic growth. It was necessary that you experience that, Pisces. But the eight of, um, the eight of wands that 
well, all of these cards, to be fair, the Knight of Wands, the Full Card, are all talking about new energy coming through. For some, it could be in the form of messages. It could be this message for you. This this message comes through. It could be judgment, though. You know, this energy is of an actual event, something that happens, that is revealing, that 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 shows you. It could be if you're married, this could be arguments. Yeah, eight of when you're married, this could be arguments. It could be having arguments, but it could be that those arguments actually force you when you're shouting or when you're getting angry or upset or whatever, however you argue. Um, <laughs> but when you're getting like that, you might say something, it might hit a nerve, it might reveal something about, oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't even realise that, I didn't even think about that before, I didn't even think about that before, I didn't even realise that that's what I was like or I didn't even realise that's what, that's how I've been acting or I didn't even realise etc 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 and that will therefore be a cause for celebration the the event in itself with judgment can be quite confronting as i said it could be an argument it could be you know someone from the past coming back and telling you a secret or finding out a secret and um, that's been long held for years and years and years and no one knew it could be anything anything but the actual event itself what it really as i said someone's will or whatever anything the event itself can be quite Oh, like quite shocking or quite, um, you know, quite co confronting is the word that I use. That's the word that I use, so that's the word I'm using. Um, but yeah, it can be quite a confronting event judgment, but ultimately it's a cause for celebration. There's new energy needs to come in for you. You've been asleep almost. You may have felt like you've been asleep. You may have felt like you've been so inside of yourself. So even when you're having conversations with people, you're talking, you're in, you're at work, people are, you, you sat with your family having dinner, everyone's talking, you're like so within yourself. You can have conversations with people, but you, 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 you've been, a part of you has been somewhere else. And you, and you know what I mean, hopefully you know what I mean. Well, that part of you that's been somewhere else, it's been healing, it's had to heal, it's, it's part of, the, the healing of the universe right now and now that part of you that's been that's been so withdrawn that's been so hidden even if you've been normal on the outside everyone's been that part of you that's been hidden is is finally coming you're finally coming back out to the surface it's finally poking its head back up to the surface we can celebrate that this is the energy of that so a brand new um energy coming through and what makes you find yourself or rediscover it might just be the the aries coming in you know it might just be the full moon in libra on the 20th and the, and the sun entering aries on the you know the 20th it might just be the end of pisces season that, that brings in this new energy you know so the 20th might just bring in that new energy but the, with the judgment here it does suggest kind of that there's a there's a moment of reckoning there's a conversation there's a there's a there's a there's a revelation there's a secret there's an argument there's something that, that, that actually brings you out of yourself, if you will. Um, that well, that part of you that's been that's been sucked in, that brings that part of you out of yourself. That's that's coming through. Okay. So I hope I didn't complicate things and confuse you so much. But um, hopefully you'll 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 have got that that <laughs> that message. It's about new beginnings all this week for you, and that's really really positive because it's been some time since you've actually really felt any sort of motivation, passion, happiness, clarity, you know? So um, so good on you, Pisces, good on you. Okay, my darlings, I hope you liked that reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, of course. I will read them and reply to them. And subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I've actually got a post about judgment, actually. You'll have to scroll down a bit, but it is there, so you can always check that out if you want to. That's what I do on my Instagram and Facebook. I give you extra little stuff about the individual cards, about astrology, etc., and in inspiration okay your march love readings are also still available to view so um happy birthday for those pisces that are still sort of hanging on to the birthday season um happy birthday i hope you've enjoyed your birthday season um check out your march love readings um that's available to view now on my channel and the check out the key wisdom playlist also um which i've just added to today um with a video all about inspiration um in action thank you so much for being here parties i'll see you all again next week with your brand new readings take care my darlings bye